Hi guys and welcome to our first Photoshop tutorial. For this tutorial we are going to show you how to make this composite water horse running through fire. Hopefully you will enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. And if someone has problems understanding what I'm saying, keep in mind that I'm not a native English speaker so I'm sorry if I don't pronounce something properly. I also would love to get a feedback on my English, so that would be great if you can shout out some comments below. So first, we can start by uh, downloading some images that we we're gonna work with. I've just downloaded this off of Google. One with a horse, one that we're gonna use with fire, and the water texture that we are going to use to create the water horse. Those you can find the links in the description. And if you have some questions regarding that, feel free to ask. Again, the comments are open for every question there is out there. So, okay, we can get started. First, we're going to open the horse image just so you can see what we're working with today okay and open with Photoshop this is the image I created a while ago and this is what we're trying to replicate today so first what we're gonna start I usually make a copy of the base layer just to have it clean and then we're gonna go with the selection tool it's a really powerful tool quick and easy especially if you have this high contrast between the object you're trying to select and the background this will make our rough selection for today and yeah sometimes it does things like that so we take the minus tool and remove this selection what we want to do now is refine the edges so we right click select refine edge and we're going to use the brush to fix all those hairs on the back of the horse and the tail it's really easy just go around them select all of them and the background around them all the rest is up to Photoshop to remove what's not needed Bam! it's done so we're gonna do the same with the tail over here make sure to go even over the selected ones since it will remove the background and when you have a lot of hair that means that you have a lot of small places where the background is visible we're gonna use it also here near the end of the legs because they are a bit hairy just in case we missed something with the selection yeah we're gonna continue to the next one also I hear some hair beneath the head thought we missed something there but we we didn't and this is the final thing here so I think we're pretty much done with the hair this is a rough selection you don't pay attention that much to the details oh one more thing we can just smooth out a little bit the edges so it doesn't feel like really cut out pixel by pixel rough and ugly layer via copy and now we remove the other layer so I can just see the horse we can add a background solid color let's say white so now what we're gonna do is import the water texture we're going to use just drag and drop over your project gonna 
replace it and extend it a little bit. Now we're gonna put it on top of the course since we want to see that. With control and click on the layer you get the selection of the course we already made and just apply a layer mask. We can refine the mask the same way we did it with the selection but you can see that right now it's not needed or something like that. So the selection wasn't really good as we, we did really quick. You can see near the front hooves that there's some shadows still visible. You can try to remove it with the brush too by using in this case black but since I selected a soft brush this is not going to work that much what we're gonna do is select a hard one usually it's good to have a hard brush for details Oops, wrong color, just control Z to undo this and X button if you want to switch between black and white while doing this masking thing. But I, I think it's not going to work, this is usually a thing that you have to take care of while doing the initial selection of the object. For now we, we're gonna leave it and control J to duplicate the horse layer and we are going to go to adjustments and desaturate not that in this case it's that needed then multiply uh, so you can see that some of the water texture is already visible what we're going to do right now is try to make it more visible light by lighting up the horse or something like that so what we can do here is either go there and use the brightness level curves exposure tools and selection but what I personally prefer is to go to filter and camera roll filter since we have all these sliders here available for us, I'm gonna bump up the exposure, drop down the shadows a little bit, a bit of clarity, maybe black, white. Okay. Next up is applying a layer mask and basically removing everything from the horse that we don't need, which is everything besides the not the fa facial feature, I don't know if this is applicable for horse, but yeah, the mouth and, and the eyes. If you're using a graphics tablet like I do, make sure to go a little bit over the places where you already painted since it's not it may not be full opacity. So we, we painted a little bit over the, the facial features. What we're gonna do is switch to white so we can pop up a little bit the eyes and go back to black so we can do this more detailed with a smaller brush. So control shift alt E to get a new layer that combines everything, we move the white background layer below that, 
apply our layer mask and now we're going to make this watery film even more realistic. There are some brushes, water droplet brushes available. <coughs> I'll include the link below in the descriptions if you want to download them. So basically from here on there is a bit of freestyling how you're going to do it. You just use a variety of all the brushes that you can download and apply them in different places around the horse trying to make it more appealing to your eye so we're gonna use another brush let's see no not this one not this one nope uh, I think this one would be good for now we're gonna use it for the tail to make this sort of whirlpool effect here or something like that similar okay you can hold the R button and use the mouse to rotate the entire photo so you can apply the brush in different angles according to the horse so what what you're doing here is just applying here and there so we don't get the same patterns this is something really important that you don't have the same patterns everywhere I'm gonna change a little bit after that with another brush change a little bit the brush um, let's no let's use this one creates a little more splash Here you can see that the horse is already beginning to look more splashy or however you would like to describe it. And this is a bit more fine detail work here, just using smaller brush to add more water droplets at the end where we missed until now. You can also try to imagine if a real horse is running through water where the splashes are going to be the most intense like there between the before the actually before the the rear legs and the belly or something like that similar or the front hooves or the front part of the neck of the horse So what we're doing now is just applying a, a lower opacity uh, mask which will add this more water flowing feeling for the inside of the horse.
So we're done with that and we can imp import the fire layer. I'm going to reposition this and extend it. transform and check marks to finish lower the opacity to around 50 or yeah around 50 is okay control shift out E to make a new layer with everything that is visible right now and since the course is a bit dark we're gonna use the camera roll filter again also to make the Okay, we're gonna drop the temperatures a little bit, maybe bump up a little bit the shadows. No, the exposure. Okay, the exposure is okay like that. Drop the highlights. Also, what I like to do here is just play around with the slide bars until I'm satisfied with the results. Nope. Yeah, contrast is okay. Fibrance and saturation. So, what we're going to do is add some effects, some vignetting, which really makes the fire pop up a little bit more for some reason. It makes it really, really good looking. Since the horse is still too dark, we're gonna use the dodge tool to make it a little bit more lighter. We're not gonna use this, and we're gonna use it at around 25% of, yeah, 22% opacity. Just try to lighten up a little bit the horse. Mainly the parts that are not covered with fire because since this is all in one layer right now, um, it will affect the, the fire also. We don't want to do that. It's good as it is right now. So, there you go. I think we're pretty much done with this. And yeah, here it is, this is the final version. Basically what you can do from what you've learned from this tutorial is use those skills in every kinds of situations when you want to make it composite or something more creative. You just try to experiment. You can also try doing the same thing just to get a feel for the procedures, but after that it's applicable to a lot of places just experiment and unleash your creativity if you like this tutorial please select the thumbs up button like us share us and if you want to see more tutorials in the future subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching guys and hope we'll see each other in another tutorial here on this channel bye Thank you.